The biblical account of Messiah Yeshua's life here on earth details an often contentious relationship between practitioners of the law handed down through Moshe, or the front half of the Bible, and practitioners of rabbinic Judaism, um, referred to in the second half of the Bible as the traditions of men that make the word of God ineffectual. That relationship still exists today. Um, Jews who adhere to um, the law passed down through Moshe are considered heretics uh, by ones practicing rabbinic Judaism, which is the majority of what practicing Jews adhere to, rabbinic Judaism. Uh, in the Bible, and in biblical text, um, Messiah Yeshua speaks against that repeatedly. It's called, rabbinic Judaism is called the traditions of men that make the word of God ineffectual. That's important to know so that um, you won't be deceived. When Yeshua returns, you want to be able to identify him. And if you believe um, that Yeshua has a problem with the front half of the Bible, or what's called the word in biblical text or the law of Moshe, you know, the law handed down through Moshe, then you can be easily led astray. There is, there's clarity in New Testament text about what Yeshua um, fulfilled by him being the perpetual sacrifice he didn't say, now you can murder, um, now you can be an adulterer. You know, he didn't negate any of the Ten Commandments. That is an outline. Everything else hinges on those things. He fulfills that. It's like an English class when you have an outline and then you build on it. The ten is the outline. If you read the second half of the Bible, the end of the book, without reading the first part of the book, and you not understand the second part of the book. The first part informs the second part. And, and if you're going to deal with matters of life and death, like um, Christianity claims to, and um, different religions claim to, then you've got to be concerned with the facts. I mean, it's just not even factual that the New Testament is about Yeshua having a problem with the first part of the Bible. He's talking to Jews of that time about their lack of adherence to the law of Moshe, handed, I mean, the law handed down through Moshe. But so many well-meaning Christians preach that that's religion. Adhering to the word of God is religion. It's like self-discipline just goes out the door. We can, no rules, nothing that makes you feel uncomfortable or convicted. Conviction is mistaken for condemnation. Holiness is mistaken for legalism. All because not concerned with the facts. Who was Yeshua talking to? What was he saying? What was he talking about? You know, mankind doesn't just get to make up stuff and it be so. I know it seems like it because, I mean, like, a great deal of the world adheres to some of this stuff. But that was never, it's never the way of God anyway. He always works with smaller numbers than man expects. The whole corporate model, that's not biblical. Anyway, shalom.